Hello everyone, Adam here with Dan Foss today, and we're going to be looking at the spare part kits for the SVL product line, namely for the SVAS25. Now before we get into that, it's important to note that all of the products contained within the spare part kits will not be used for each valve. The reason for this is because the spare part kits are relevant to some of our older series valves as well. With that said, for the SVAS, in the inspection kit, you will get the replacement nylon gasket that goes underneath the seal cap. You will get a replacement aluminum gasket that goes between the packing gland and the bonnet interface. And you will get a replacement fiber gasket that goes between the body and the bonnet itself. For the repair kit, you will use the same replacement parts that we had in the inspection kit which is the nylon gasket for underneath the seal cap, the aluminum gasket for between the packing gland and the bonnet, and the replacement fiber gasket for between the bonnet and the body. But in addition to this, we will also get a replacement packing gland. The replacement packing gland can be changed while the valve is under pressure. You do this by simply backseating the valve, slowly loosening the packing gland, you will have a small amount of ammonia released, but this should subside. If you continue to hear a hissing noise and ammonia being released, that is indicative of the back seat is not holding and you should retighten the packing gland and pump down the line in order to replace the packing gland. If it does subside, then we want to continue with removing, unscrewing the packing gland and removing it from the valve and then replacing the packing gland simply by putting it back onto the spindle until the threads engage, and then tightening to the specified torque in the instructions. For the overhaul kit, you will get the same items that we used previously in the repair kit, being the fiber gasket between the bonnet and the body, the nylon washer for underneath the seal cap, the packing gland, and the aluminum gasket that goes underneath the packing gland between the packing and the bonnet. In addition to that, you will also get some replacement ball bearings, a new set screw, and a replacement cone. To replace the cone, just locate the set screw on the side. Use a two millimeter Allen key in this case for the size 25. Remove the set screw. And now with the set screw removed, simply hold the cone downward with the hole in place and then rotate the spindle. This will release the ball bearings from inside the race. This may take several attempts of spinning to get them all removed. You will be able to tell if they are not all removed because the cone simply will not want to come off of the spindle. Once you feel like they are all removed, the cone will simply slide off of the spindle. There's a piece of spring steel between the cone and the spindle interface. This allows the cone <clears throat> and spindle to remain as one until the cone comes in contact with the body. It then allows it to turn the spindle with the cone remaining steady. You want this to go in such a way that the spring steel is concave up. Once in, insert the cone back onto the spindle until the race is aligned with the hole. At this point, the replacement ball bearings can be inserted into the hole for the set screw and then the set screw replaced behind it. This has been an overview for the spare part kits for the SVA stop valve, which is part of our SVL product line from Danfoss. For more information about this topic, please see our description below. And for more great videos like this, please visit our YouTube channel, Dan Foss Cool US. Thanks for watching.